This video is brought to you by DentalImplantsGuy.com. Best online info. Composite graft with on bone. Preparation step. Before applying bond bone, make sure you have the items described. A sterile bond bone driver. Sterile saline. Dry gauze pads. A sterile medical syringe and a sterile medical needle of at least 1.25 inches or 31 millimeters. Granules, a spatula, and a sterile dish. Step 1. Pull the driver's head entirely and add bond bone to the overall granules within the dish. Use a volume ratio of two parts bond bone to one part granules. For example, add 1 cc bond bone to 0.5 cc granules. Step 2. Use a spatula and mix the dry blend thoroughly. Step 3. Add saline for complete wettings of the blend. This is important in order to achieve a complete moistening of the blend. Use a spatula to mix the blend thoroughly until obtaining a homogeneous creamy texture. The texture is ready when it's well mixed and has a shiny and glossy appearance. Step 4. Absorb water surpluses by applying a dry gauze pad above the mixture. Do not use pressure. The texture is ready when it's well mixed and has a matte appearance. Step 5. Use the empty bond bone driver as a carrier for the putty by drawing the piston to line one marked on the driver and reload it with the putty. Use the same maneuvers such as loading amalgam to collect the putty. Step six, apply the bond bone composite graft into the required site by pushing the piston and ejecting the composite graft. The bone defect has to be entirely filled with composite graft in order to obtain a good contact with natural bone. Step 7. Shape is necessary to achieve the desired form. Apply a dry gauze pad for 3 to 5 seconds and condense the composite graft. Make sure the time elapsed since the material encountered saline did not exceed 2 to 3 minutes. Step 8. Wet the gauze pad with sterile saline and place it on the graft. Remove the gauze pad after about 30 seconds. Proceed with soft tissue coverage and wound closure.